All right, so in this technique video, we're working on ball position, or BP. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our saber. As you can see, there's positions on here. So this particular word is ball. Then right here it goes to chip, pitch, iron, and wood. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to set this up. So as you set it on the ground, right here in front of you, this is where it says ball. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your ball and you're going to position it right out here in front where it says ball. So let's say I take my 7 iron. I'm going to take my club, put it right here behind the ball. I'm going to take my lead foot, my left foot, and position it right out here where the grip is. Now if I wanted to hit a tiny little chip with my 7 iron, I could by simply leaving my left foot in alignment with the grip and putting my right toe right here where it says chip. So now my stance is very narrow and I'm in a chipping position. Let's say I wanted to pitch my 7 iron, which would be rare, but it's possible. I'm going to take my stance, move it just a little bit wider apart. Now I'm set up in the pitching position. Normally, I'm going to do my full swing 7 iron from the iron position. So I'm working on putting my left foot right here back from the grip and my right toe right here where it says iron. Okay, now this is now my iron setup. If I switch to my driver or a fairway wood, now I'm back here where it says wood. So I'll leave the ball on the ground, grab my fairway wood, set it out a little bit further right off of there where it says ball. Then I'm going to put my left foot in alignment with the grip again and I'm going to put my right toe out here by the word wood. Okay, now I'm in my wood setup position. So it's very important to work through your ball position every single time. You might make slight modifications. These indicators on the saber are an excellent general reference point, but as you learn how to control your ball flight, you may move the ball a little bit back or a little bit forward, but at least using the saber, you'll be able to remember from day to day and week to week where you've been positioning that ball because randomly we end up accidentally moving that ball position around and every time we set up in a different position you can pretty much expect to get a different shot. So if you're working on your consistency make sure you're using the indicators on your saber in a very structured manner so that you begin to really appreciate what proper ball position will do for your consistency.